Hey Stuart, I am so excited. I just finished building an automation that notifies our admins when somebody successfully onboarded. Hey, that's awesome. Let me have a look. Wait, why is this so complicated? Did, didn't you just need to send an email? Did you write this process down? Did you automate an air horn to go off to notify them? I mean, it notifies them. Stuart, great to see you, buddy. Listen, I just built another automation that sends a Slack message anytime someone requests something in Canny. Cool. Yeah. Uh, did you actually talk to the admins to see what they actually needed? <clears throat> yes. So they also didn't know that Canny does that by default? So, Brandon, I'm, I'm looking at this workflow. It's not entirely clear what you're trying to do. Were you going to document this so that your team and your future self will thank you? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. It, uh, it just takes some time, you know? You, uh, you know you can use RoboRoosty, right? To automatically generate docs? What? Man, it will be so great when I can build an entire user onboarding workflow. Yeah, you know Roost has a crate for that, right? Of course I do. What's a crate? You know, the uh, pre-built package automations you can use. They have one for new user onboarding. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's, uh, that's what I meant by build. Uh-huh. Well, you can use these while you continue to learn from Cluck U. Okay, Stuart. I wrote down all of the processes that I want to automate. That's awesome. It'll take me some time to finish all of these processes, but the time savings is going to be immense. That's really great. But you do know you can build smaller workflows that will continue to give you time savings. Things like getting a list of tickets or getting a list of computer IDs. And then you can reuse them in a library to help speed up your other automation. That's genius. You could even share it on the open mic so that other customers can see it too. You know, you're a smart one, Stuart. Good looking too. Happy New Year and happy automating.